just a good old boy Never meaning no harm Beats all you never saw Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born Hello everyone, Steven. Wes. And, uh... Where's Frankie? I think we're missing, uh... Our compadre Frankie tonight, but unfortunately, Frankie, we're still going to be doing a review tonight on the Alec Bradley Prensado Robusto. This is a 5 by 50 inch uh, stick. This is actually in a box press format. Very, very beautiful looking cigar. Very beautiful wrapper. Uh, if you all are not familiar with the Prensado, actually the Churchill version was rated number one by Cigar Aficionado for this year. So we're really excited about getting into this. Wes, what type of wrapper does it have? Uh, this is a Honduran Trojo uh, Corojo wrapper. It's also got a Nicaraguan binder and uh, also the Honduran and the Nicaraguan uh, fillers in it. So it's going to be a very dynamic smoke, lots of flavor, um, lots of flavor changes, so very, very, very good cigar. We're actually excited about getting these fired up, so uh, what are we getting off the off the wrapper? I'm getting kind of a, a toasted nut and uh, definitely some chocolate. Definitely getting some of, that, uh, some of that chocolate coming through the end. Let's get this cut up, fired up, and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. I did get my new Zycar leather case for my v Zycar cutter in the mail the other day. Uh, if you buy one of the Zycar cutters, like so, you can go on their website and register. It's free to register, and uh, they'll send you the free leather case to go with your cutter. Pretty cool deal. Oh my goodness, right off the bat, just a perfect draw on this cigar. This just really, to be completely honest with you, this has probably got to be one of the prettiest made cigars um, that I've had the pleasure of smoking before. There's just no veins whatsoever that you can see. There's no tooth. You could just tell it's a very high quality cigar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be good. I don't even know what to say. I'm just excited. You know, I'm actually getting kind of like a like a little raisin coming through the yeah, end. Yeah, almost like a sweet, kind of a, not fruity, kind of like a dried fruit though, yeah. Kind of just like a dried fruit, so. Let's fire this baby up, because I can't wait anymore. Make sure you put the flaps down before you take <laughs> off over there. God. <laughs> you Things sure. about to take off. This is my new uh, high altitude lighter I got from uh, Zycar. Here in a couple weeks, if you guys want to tune in, I'm going to be doing some videos. I'm taking a trip to Alaska, and so I'm going to be just a poor old boy smoking with you know glaciers and mountains, and I'm going to try to get a moose. I want to smoke a cigar with a moose in the background. <laughs> How cool would that be? Oh, yeah. Oh, I just smell the smoke coming off that thing. Just right away, a, a nice, clean tobacco. Got a little bit of spice in there. Um, not really a black spice, maybe more, maybe kind of like a cayenne type spice coming through. Kind of like a not, sweet red Not pepper. hot. There you go. Very nice, very nice, clean light right there on the cigar. Um, as you can see, if I show you up close, the uh, construction of the cigar. Oh, that smells good, man. That just went right good. in my face, <laughs> and I was kind of, I'm okay with that. I will say one thing I've noticed out of this box press already. Uh, the Churchill that I smoked, the draw was incredible, perfect. I mean, it was almost effortless. You just enjoy the smoke flooding in your mouth. Now, this box press is a little bit tighter of a draw. Um... You know, nothing really to knock it, just a little bit tighter. But I'm sure as, as the uh, box press loosens up with the heat, uh, it'll open up quite a bit. Boy, what a great start already. Plenty of smoke coming out of it. For me, I've got an ideal draw on it. I'm sitting here right in his uh, path of smoke coming off, and it doesn't bother me at all. I enjoy it, so keep going. <laughs> tonight, Anyways. Tonight yeah. we're pairing it with a uh, Dunkin' Donuts. It's a medium roast. And uh, we sweeten it just a little bit with some uh, coffee house uh, caramel macchiato creamer. 
I'll take it. Frankie, we miss you tonight. Wish you were here to review this with us, but uh, we'll, we'll take care of it for you. So we'll uh, no worries, no worries. We'll get through the first third, and uh, we'll come back and let you know what we find. Hello, everyone. Stephen, Wes, and no Frankie here. Still no Frankie. Still no Frankie. Doing the review on the Alec Bradley Prensado Robusto. Um, we're through about the first third here. Uh, the only problem that I've had, two things that I've had so far. Uh, one, the ash fell off at about half an inch, which is really unusual. Um, these are a really uh, high-quality cigar with long fillers, so that was unusual to, uh, to have that happen. I'm also starting to get a little bit of a flowering going on the end of mine here. Uh, Wes is through the first third and uh, just about half of the second third, and he'll explain why here in... Uh, in just a second, but uh, Wes will describe the flavors. We were talking about it just a second ago, and he's probably got about the perfect description of, uh, of what we're getting out of these. But uh, this has been very enjoyable so far, even though his is a little messed up. Um, the flavors that are coming out are incredible. So, Wes? Okay. Um, I, I think I nailed it on the head just a minute ago. I was sitting here smoking. I was like, man, I'm getting nut. I'm getting chocolate. I'm still kind of getting some of a creamy with kind of a raisin flavor. It tastes like trail mix. It is that good. It tastes like a nutty, chocolatey, sweet raisin combination of trail mix. It's an incredible flavor. Um, with a little spice. Yeah, with a little bit of spice in the background. Which, you know, that's that's the good side of it. bad side is, and I've already corrected it just a little bit, but I have got kind of a wicked burn going on here. I don't know what the deal is. I haven't tried to touch it up because usually a cigar, um, you know, of this quality will uh, eventually straighten itself out, um, to be real honest. The low spot down here, I've been actually licking it, putting some a little bit of spit on it, trying to slow it down and moisten it up just to keep it from you know taking off and totally throwing my flavors out of whack because uh, when you smoke one of these, you want it to burn evenly all the way through. You want to taste the first third, and then you want to taste the second third. You don't really want to taste part of the second third with the first third um, so you can get the full effect of the cigar, but... Flavor-wise, I've got no complaints. This cigar's incredible. Uh, like I said, that just trail mix flavor. Um, you know, a little bit of the, the sweet is actually probably coming from the coffee that we're drinking that we paired it with, but I wouldn't pair it with anything else after tonight because that is such a great combination. But overall, I really have no complaints. My burn's jacked up. I really don't care because the taste is so good. I will say uh, one thing, my recommendation on this cigar... I am typically, and I think Wes will agree, we're typically uh, a couple of guys that prefer, prefer the Robusto size over anything else. I just like, I, I like being able to sit down, smoke a cigar, enjoy it, but not be strapped to it for two hours. Um, but I will say this is one cigar that I would highly recommend either a Toro or the Chor Churchill Church Hill. The Church Hill. The Church Hill. The Church Hill. The Church Hill. I would definitely recommend the Church Hill and. That's a new size, a Churchill, between a Toro and a Churchill. And then I just said Church Hell. <laughs> <laughs> that, those two, that's like an oxymoron, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Church Hell. Hello again, everyone. Steven. Wes. And no Frankie. Still doing our review on the Alec Bradley Prensado Robusto. Now, uh, we're about down to the end of the second third. I may not even be quite to the end of the second third. I'll tell you one thing. This band is big. It's also a beautiful band. Um... So I'm considering the second third because I'm about down to the band. My burn has been uh, pretty good throughout. A uh, little uneven, but nothing that's required any kind of touch-ups. Um, so I'm not going to be touching it up. The band is pretty much going to be coming off here in just a second. Uh, but uh, same thing, I'm pretty much getting through this uh, cigar, kind of like Wes said. Kind of like a uh, little trail mix. Got a little cream creaminess in there. It's got a little nut, a little raisin. A uh, little chocolate, a little salt, a little spice. It's just got everything. Um, it's a very, very enjoyable stick, Wes. I've noticed um, uh, that uh, there's kind of a sweet red pepper almost flavor kind of starting to come out of it now. Um, it was in there a little bit before, but now that I'm you know getting in and through the second, third, it's really starting to come out. Uh, the creaminess starting to kind of fade out a little bit. The chocolate's definitely still there. The nut is definitely still there. And then kind of a sweet red pepper kind of in the background. But there are no complaints with this cigar. I mean, yeah, the burn's off. But, you know, when you've got when you've got a burn as bad as what I have and you don't care because it tastes so good, it's, that's a great cigar. Even when you get a bad one, you still love it. So, Great draw. Great amount of smoke still coming out of it. I want to give a little shout-out to Alec Bradley and, uh, and let everybody know. If you haven't had a chance to try some Alec Bradley cigars, I highly recommend that you do. 
one thing that I found on a lot of their cigars, the Tempest, the Family Blend, all that, Alec Bradley does a wonderful job of, of blending tobaccos that have a lot of flavors in them. Um, these are just very, Alec Bradley makes some very enjoyable sticks. So I highly recommend the Prensado um, is probably definitely my favorite, uh, probably followed by the Tempest. If you haven't had a Tempest, I highly recommend those. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend in the Tempest, however, I have had some of the uh, the Quadrum box press, and I'm not really a big fan of those. I've, I've had a few issues with uh, with quality on those, uh, but they make some other ones in the Tempest that uh, that are very well. So it's a very good cigar, Alec Bradley. Thank you very much. Um, again, if you haven't had a chance to try them, highly recommend that you do. Especially try this Prensado. Uh, we'll keep going and uh, get through the final third here, and and let you know uh, what we find out. But uh, sure, am enjoying it. You. Yeah, going it's awesome. Going great with this cup of coffee, and uh, we'll just keep going, and maybe when we're done, we can actually start getting some work done. Hello again, everyone. Steven. Wes, and no Frankie. No Frankie still, but uh, we're finishing up the final third of this, uh, actually about halfway through the final third, of the Alec Bradley Prensado Robusto. Um, I just can't say enough about this cigar, minus the few little issues that Wes had with the burn, but it's completely straight now. Mine's been pretty much straight throughout. Uh, now the ash is holding on a little bit longer. Uh, just been a very, very enjoyable cigar. I just told Wes a second ago, you know, I just, I love smoking cigars, and there's a lot of times when 30, 45 minutes after I smoke a cigar, I feel like I'm ready to have another one, and I just told him a second ago, I said, with this cigar, I'm content. I, I don't want another one. I don't want another one the rest of the night. I want to I want to go inside, I want to lay down, go to sleep, and, and sleep like a baby after smoking a good cigar, so great cigar. Um, Alec Bradley, thank you very much for the uh, Prince Auto. This, is, uh, this has been very enjoyable, and I will say that I picked this one up at uh, Churchill's Cigar Bar in... Uh, San Diego, California when I was there on vacation. If you have a chance, uh, it's actually in Old Town. They also have another one that's in uh, Miramar. The one in Miramar actually is a uh, Diamond Crown Lounge, which there's only 54 of them in the United States. So uh, very nice cigar shops, huge humidors, almost anything you could want under the sun you can find in there. So, Who's the owner of Churchill's? Uh, Danny Abraham. Danny Abraham. Check out Danny Abraham. Tell him that Cigar News sent you. Um, actually, here in a little while, uh, we'll get some video edited. They had an event down at the Miramar location with uh, Drew Estate, which was very interesting to uh, to meet the gentleman and, and Mr. Alex Sosa from uh, from Drew Estate. So uh, Liga Pravada. Liga Pravada. So this has been the uh, Alec Bradley Prensado. Wonderful, wonderful smoke. Definitely pick these up uh, when we launch our site on August third, coinciding with IPCPR. And you register, you set up your cigar locker, definitely put this one in your cigar locker. Um, this is this is a stick you'll enjoy over and over and over again. So This is definitely one that you want to be able to send a link to your locker and uh, have family members order it for you on your birthday and Father's Day and everything else. So, But tell them they need to order the box. <laughs> yeah, get the you box. You need a full not, box. Not the single. You want yeah, the box. Yeah, you want the full box. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you all very much for watching the review. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to follow us online. Again, the website will launch on August 3rd. Uh, that's www.cigarnews.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at Your Cigar News. You can follow myself on Twitter at Cigar underscore Chief or follow Wes at... Cigars underscore N underscore Joe. So, and Frankie, unfortunately, he's not here, but uh, he's actually at Cigar underscore Ficionado. Aficionado. So, thank you all very much for watching the review. Just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Beats all you never saw, been in trouble with the law.